Hey guys, another Reaper tutorial coming at you today. Today I'm going to teach you how you can trigger a kick using nothing but Reaper and the stock plugins that come with Reaper. Now I've seen some other videos that make use of a drum module. Um, basically what you do for this with the mic is you plug your mic in with a quarter inch adapter and you plug it directly into your drum module then you output the MIDI. And this works well and dandy but not everyone has one of these and they're kind of expensive and at a certain point you might as well just buy a drum trigger for like 30 or 50 bucks. So this will make use of a microphone and an XLR cable, something that everybody has. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so next is this very tedious part of miking the kick drum. Now as you can imagine, you, you can place pretty much anywhere, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't really want to use the original drum sound mixed in with it, you can put it pretty much wherever you want as long as it doesn't get bleed from the other drums. So, that's that. And if you're curious about mics, as far as that goes, I'm using a digital reference kick mic. Uh, it came in a pack of seven microphones uh, for drums for about $85. So we're talking really cheap mic here. Uh, the only kind of mic you want to avoid using is a condenser mic, which you will get a lot of bleed from the other drums, and this probably won't work well. So stick to a dynamic if you can. Now, if it's not super obvious at this point, we obviously have to plug in the mic cable to the audio interface and then set it to a reasonable level. You don't want it too high, but you also don't want it too low, otherwise it will not pick up. Reaper here, first thing we're going to do is create two new tracks. Okay, so the first track we're going to name Drum Recording. You can name it, uh, if I can spell it right. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, it's for the kick, obviously. If you have more drums that you're doing this with, obviously it's going to be more, but just arm that. And, and then we're going to make the second one. We're just going to make this uh, MIDI Receive. Yeah, I'm having trouble spelling. Okay, so first thing you're going to do with, the, with your actual recording is you're going to go in here to send and you send that to MIDI receive. What this does, it'll send everything that's recorded into that into this. So then we just need to add an effects to this track. We need to add um, the audio to MIDI drum trigger. Pretty much the default settings are good for a kick. If you're doing this with a snare, you might have to mess with the threshold and other things, but we won't get into that in this video at least. So next thing you want to do is add your drum program. I'm going to use uh, Steven Slate Drums 5 for this. So just go in here and then um, load a kit like you normally do. Make sure it's all completely loaded, then go to map. And, and here, this is going to vary between drum programs, but you're going to have to find the note for your kick. So uh, just 36 is our kick center. So we go back to our drum trigger and we set the MIDI note to 36. So this basically just tells the audio that comes in it to transfer it to that note on MIDI, which is our kick drum. So we're pretty much set now. Uh, one thing we have to do here is we have to right click on here for the recording and we have to set our record input to MIDI. Just set all channels. All right, so then the next thing you have to do is make sure both of them are have record hit on them and then on the default one, make sure record monitoring is set to on, otherwise you won't be able to record this live. So with those settings set, let's see how it works. Disclaimer, uh, I'm not a drummer, so please don't like even like my kick drum skills there. Please don't like judge them because I really can't drum at all. I have these drums for my brother to play, not for me. I try, but I'm terrible.
Well, guys, that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions on this or you're having trouble getting it to work, let me know in the comments. I'll try and help you as best I can. As always, please hit like and subscribe. Um, I'm not the most consistent YouTuber in the world, but I do like to put out videos every so often. So keep tuned for that. There's also my music in the bottom. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day.